All right, so this is Hess's law equation. We started with this equation here. We need to find out the specific heat of it. And we started with these three equations with these specific heats of each one. So to start it off, we saw that um, this, this um, compound and this compound are the same, but this one has a coefficient of two and it's on the product side, and this one's on the reactants. So we're gonna multiply it by two and flip it, which is seen here. It's uh, four HNO3 yields two N2O5 plus two H2O from that. And then next, we use this equation, and we saw that the, um, the H2O, on, when it's flipped, is now on the product side, so we need this one to be on the reactant side so we could cancel it out later. So it's just a flip, and it's right here. It's 2H2O yields 2H2 plus O2. Oh, and yes. When you, for this equation, when you multiply it by 2 and flip, this one becomes positive and you multiply it by 2. So it's 147.4. And when you flip this first equation, which is negative, and the specific heat is negative 571.6, you just get a positive 571.6. And for the last equation, it is a multiply by 2 because the, um, what do you mean? Oh, for the 4HNO3, you, we had to multiply it by 2 so we could cancel it out later. And it's already on the product side, and the other one is on the reactant side. So we don't know if flip is needed. So that will come out to be 2N2 plus 6O2 plus 2H2 yields 4HNO3. And the specific heat of that one was negative 348.2. And since we just multiplied by 2, that would be multiplied by 2, so it will be negative 696.4. And now when you got these, it's um, canceling time. So these two cancel, the two H2Os cancel, hydrogens cancel, and we'll talk about those later, but these stay and these stay for now and written out it's 2n2 plus 6o2 yields 2n205 plus o2 and now since we got these on different sides we subtract this one from this one coming out to be uh, 2n2 plus subtracted it'll be one less o2 so it's 5 o2 yields 2n205 which is similar or exactly the same to the starting equation we started with so now knowing that we uh, got to the same equation we add all this up correct coming out to be 22.6 and that is the answer to this equation.